I woke up this morning and it's all clouded and I guess there's a chance of rain this morning so we'll see I have to check the radar before we head out everybody that's supposed to be here is here with an appetite right Marty <laughs> we got an appetite bud yeah I got an appetite I am headed shopping with Michelle Johnny's gonna go he wants to see Michelle and the GA ladies and stuff and um Don's gonna head to swap cars sometime after I go shop maybe pick up Johnny from Guardian Angel on the way back through town because me and Miss Michelle you know Michelle will probably still be shopping and let's see well that's on that's you know this morning that's part of the day at least keep an eye to the sky today there's you know an increased chance a slight risk for severe storms I think everything is looking all right this morning. At least I don't see any major things. I suppose maybe I should have turned that red plant around this way, but hopefully it's gonna turn toward the sun a little more, be better. And we won't be out here today. <laughs> the spot back there is where we gotta work a little bit more. Good morning. Hey, bud. Hi. Good boy. Hi. Here you go. Let's try to get you to give me those pretty eyes for a minute. Such a good boy. Great, great. Good morning. Hi. You ready for some breakfast? I'm sorry I don't have chicken today. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hi, that's my sweet boy. I hear the loner car coming. <laughs> We're headed for our walk. Vest free today, no weights. Don already took him out of the loner because he's taking it back sooner than he thought. Shoot, if we'd have known we were gonna have it back so quick, we'd have just left him in, Jules. We're out here doing our walk thing. It's not too bad with the sun in. A little bit of a breeze, you can see the flag in the distance blowing around a bit. I guess there's a chance of rain between 10 and 11 and again between 2 and 3 this afternoon. We'll see. I'm going to be inside Guardian Angel. I'm not going to care. Hopefully Don can get the couple things done he wants to be get done without getting caught in the rain. We've done our three laps. It's going on 10 o'clock. Splash pads getting ready to open and it hasn't done more than a sprinkle on us. I feel the cold air on my tushy because I'm all sweaty <laughs> from our walk. I can feel it. it. It sucks in versus like pushes out or oh, something. I, I can't tell yet. I, I honestly, I can feel it. <laughs> uh, I may have started crying a little bit about. <laughs> <laughs> on the walk, <laughs> talking about Johnny, you know, he's getting close tomorrow. He's, it's last day and then we go Saturday morning yeah we're on schedule as far as things we need to get done to leave and I I talked to my girlfriend Patricia who's in Colorado Springs her son leaves for pet well they leave to drive him to Penn State Sunday morning they're packing up Saturday after dinner and um, like we'll be packing up tomorrow to leave early Saturday and um, Anyway, I tried to, I was commiserating with another mom. She's already gone through it once. She assured me, it was very kind of her to share that she cried for the whole hour home from dropping off her older son. He's at um, School of the Mines. And um, yeah, so that was nice of her to share. I'm not the only one. That's right. I don't know how good it shows up on camera, but the Model S I headlights look even more like cat's eyes than they did before to me there's this one roundish green light on the upper outer edge and um must be the new lights way cool don will be leaving shortly to return to loner and get jewels and johnny and i are headed to guardian angel it's starting to rain i told michelle to meet us in thriftronics it's going to pour in a little bit. Hopefully she'll get inside in time too. 
I bought a thing of battery operated acorn lights with a remote. It's one of those things you put in a jar um, at Thriftronics. We're over here at Little Angel now. I hadn't seen this sign before that they got donated and put up. Very cute. So I'm going to take the S back up to the service center. It's nice having a loaner, but I didn't get to keep it long enough to see really get to know it. I have figured out how to get in it a little better. I swing my knee under. I sit in the seat and then I swing my knee under and I didn't hit the wheel. And that's pretty good. But now here's the problem. So there's the B pillar or, or the, the pillar, A pillar I guess is technically. And I've got to reach the door. So what I got to do is I got to duck my head to reach for the door. But that's, that's a minor inconvenience. But um, I guess I, I could certainly um, get used to S. Uh, I, I think I could do it. Uh, I'm still okay with the, the yoke so far. Uh, you know, maybe by the time I get back up to Tesla, um, it may, or, you know, maybe it'll grow on me even more. So I went in basically and spoke to Drew about the why, and he was familiar with what they did. And he said that was an, kind of unusual having to replace the inverter, but he said it's not as bad as it sounds. He said they only drop it down a few inches so they can reach up there and undo something from the top and pull it out. He said they don't they don't have to lower everything down, so you don't have to worry about disassembly and disassembly. Anyway, I so I true. Part. Friends become our chosen family. Michelle's here, and of course, the first thing she grabbed was a a head. A head. <laughs> Such a cute little doll bed. Do they have that here just for you? Yeah. <laughs> Connor's gonna like it. Oh my goodness, what is it? It's, it's like an alien head. I mean, you know, from aliens and xenomorphs. Yeah, almost. Siri, almost. almost. Okay. Little shop of horrors, only you. Uh, it does you. sort of have that noise in the wind kind of feel to it, doesn't it? Ooh. The kitchen area is really full today. Lots of, lots of good stuff. I don't think I'm allowed to have that shirt. Belongs you think so, huh? Mm, I'm supposed to be out of the rescuing business. So there was a very large Lego bin this morning. Looks like a lot of friend Legos. Um, looks like all legitimate Legos. There's even one big house plate here that's real. I don't see any non, I don't see any fake stuff in there. Anyway, there was Legos today. Yay! And I got some new cushions for the kitties, a poster frame, an accordion folder, a three ring punch, a couple of shirts, and I don't know, a little plastic bin. Just a few things. Mostly I got Legos. <laughs> We're over here at our favorite hibachi and company. Yum yum. Literally yum yum sauce. So I'm fixing to wash the GMC out. You know, we do haul cardboard uh, and recycles. And obviously the household trash also gets hand hauled to the dump, but... I'd like to think I keep it pretty clean, but uh, Johnny asked uh, if maybe we could clean it. It's a little dusty, I guess. I guess that's a little dusty, but I I don't know. I don't think it's too bad, but I'm gonna I'm gonna clean her here. So um, show him this video. He's um, he's uh, doing something else right now, and this is a good time for me to do it. So I decided I'd just go on and, and knock it out of the way here real quick. But uh, it looks, uh, this is the before shot, so I'll take a after video here in a minute. Well, there's it all soaked down, one one scrub. It was a little, um, it had a little, um, well, uh, mildew, I guess, um, up on the roof up here. So uh, it was probably good that I, I cleaned it. But uh, that's the first suds and down. I'm going to rinse it and try it one more time. You and I, we got matching shirts. That's That'll right. teach me to get too close while he's got yeah, the power right. washer out. I didn't mean to squirt you. <laughs> I know you didn't. And it's no big deal. It's just water. Yeah, it's just water. Yeah, I've decided to put it, you know, that's one thing about this hill. I mean, the design of this thing is designed, it's like a pickup truck bed. It's, you, it's designed to Did, be hosed out. Right. It's got drains and all that kind of stuff under the bottom. But it'll just drain better it on the angle. It better. That's yep, right. Yep. If, if, if you we're on. scrubbing it because we're fixing to load it with Johnny's stuff. Right. We got Johnny's stuff. And, uh, you know, I do, I do go to the landfill. And it, and well, it's the only thing we do in it almost. That's right. Yeah. 
now it's going to be the landfill and dorm That's right. delivery vehicle. That's right. Yes. Well, I have to say that it is pretty sticky out here. I snuck over to Harris Teeter, picked up a chicken, and I got chicken in the instant pot for the kitties. I saw that big yawn, Mr. Man. Oh. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Marty says he doesn't like being left out. <laughs> I installed the new cushions. You know, the bottoms of these chairs are basically gone. People can't sit in them anymore. They're strictly here for the kitties. And I used a drill a year or two ago to put a hole through what was left of the fabric and to, so I could tie the cushions so they wouldn't just come off and uh, he hopped down he's feeling frisky um, I um, left the old cushions on because like I said there's not a lot to the bottoms and just put the new cushions on top six dollars for both of them and they're like brand new and I like the color pattern just fine so I'm quite pleased and it is like a freaking sauna out here poor Don he said at least he's in the shade though over there by the cat. Oh, it's getting hot. It's sauna time. I'm not dressed for stuff. I'm trying to provide moral support. But I don't want to get bit up. I see my Encore Azaleas down here have a few blooms. The pink kind of straight ahead. I just dropped Johnny off for his last Taekwondo before he leaves for school. I don't know when he's home over Christmas break or next summer if he'll take classes again or not. That's totally up to him. I think he's done excellent getting his third degree black belt and working towards his fourth degree. Um, you know, Christmas break is not really very long, but next summer I suppose is an option. We'll see. We'll see what exercise he decides to do down at UNCC. He definitely um, wanted to go in and say, you know, goodbye to everybody one last time. So, Master Lee, she raises them up and then she sends them out into the world. That's what she does. She's like living the mom thing times a hundred. <laughs> So many kids she's seen go off to college that have been with her for years and years are like her own kids. But if you're going to sign your kid up to go someplace to spend time and build life skills, that's what you want, right? Somebody that's going to take care of your kid like you take care of your kid. Don, of course, offered to take Johnny or pick Johnny up or come with me or do whatever I needed, but... He spent, you know, a lot of time out there in the heat working on the GMC and as much as I would have loved his company, I think him piling up and watching a few YouTubes is the right answer. And, um, that was really kind of totally unnecessary and rude, but anyway, um, I'm headed into Walmart. We need a couple things at the house and I need a couple of things too. It is a space roller coaster. That is pretty darn cool, I have to tell ya. There were some teenagers on the Lego aisle right after I filmed that segment. And um, the one kid, he wanted the Luke's um, Land Cruiser uh, Star Wars Lego set. It's expensive and <laughs> He's like, do you think it's worth it? I like, I don't have a job and I'm headed to school in two days, you know, college in two days, but I thought it was nice the teenagers were willing to talk to me. And I said, you know, life goals and, you know, a little older and after school maybe. Yeah, so it was kind of cool. I saw a kid leaving with that UFO coaster. He was like 10. He's carrying the box out. You know, the box was, well, not quite bigger than him, but almost bigger than him. Yeah, that was really cute. And, um, yeah, I, I picked up some things. I, I, I have in this 
irrational mom worry that I'm not sending Johnny with something he needs. I'm sure some of you can relate. So I bought a couple of things. <laughs> uh, not too many things though. Class is about to let out. I thought I'd walk in. That's probably a mistake because I keep on feeling like I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> yes, I cried. I got a picture of Johnny with Master Lee and Master Kim. And um, Master Lee, Lee is the wife, Master Kim is the husband. Uh, I was able to pull up a birthday party of Johnny from August of 2015, although he started sometime in 2014. And um, it's all good. She said, come back next summer. 